We've spoken briefly before about hammer-on and pull-off effects. It's the effect of hitting a note on the guitar and then with another finger hammering down on a fret that's a tone or semitone away and then pulling your finger off. And it is a way of engaging the sound without getting the full attack and release of the sound. Now, in Strum GS2, we get that by playing legato notes that overlap each other. And that also is effective with grace notes when they overlap each other. For example, you can see the notes I'm playing here. Or hammer-on. And when we're more than a tone away, we don't get that effect. So I've programmed up a part here with keyboard mode and a melodic electric guitar line with some hammer-on effects. I'm going to play it for you as is, and then we'll look in the edit view how we can adjust the qualities of the hammer-on tone and sound with these controls. So it goes like that. Now, the hammer-on module here is only in effect when we're using these hammer-on pull-off sounds. So we have the tone control, which basically controls the brightness of the hammer-on and pull-off articulations, and then the amp control adjusts the volume of them. So that's a lot kind of darker sounding, and I've increased the volume because they're darker. We need more amplitude. So that's a way of controlling the tone of those hammer-on effects. Now we have a mute module over here, and this is for controlling the quality of the sound of the muted chords. So I've got another part programmed up here, and we can see here I've got some chords, just some whole note chords, and it's basically D minor, B flat, and then G7. And I've got underneath some strumming keys that use some mutes. And these are the up-down strokes. And these are all the mutes, the F-sharps and G-sharps. I'm going to switch to guitar mode here so we can hear this. And these will be triggering the mutes. And I'm going to obviously emphasize this in this example. And then we'll look at how this can adjust the quality of those mutes. Like that. Now we have the contact knob, which controls the pressure applied to the strings on those muted chords. So it affects the quality of the duration of them. Now the tone and the decay knobs are, as you would expect, to control the kind of spectral quality with the tone and then the decay time. So you can hear they're really short there. So this interacts with the decay time. These are a little too long, but this controls the pressure on the string and this how long they decay. Now related to this, we have the time knob, which emulates the time it takes to place the fingers in the muting position. So this also makes more of a legato effect. Now we have a separate palm mute module and I'm gonna switch to another example I've done here and here I've got the same chords and different strumming keys here. And here I'm using only the C sharp, which is the palm mute effect. So here we have a decay knob as well, this time at the bottom, and that sets the decay time of the strings when these palm mutes are triggered. And the tone knob sets the amount of high frequencies and the velocity knob is interesting. It determines how much note velocity influences this decay time. So 
you get that real scratchy, short palm muting like that. So here we hear more tone and more harmonics being generated. And a longer kind of decay time. So there's lots of ways to control the modeling. Let's look at the takeaway from this. We have the hammer-on module, which is used to control that effect when legato notes or grace notes are played, and the tone controls the brightness, and the amp controls the volume of them. And when we're triggering the muted chords, the contact knob controls the pressure applied to the strings, tone controls the brightness, and decay is a time-based control. And the time knob emulates the time it takes to place the fingers in muting position. So this kind of affects the feel of the onset or the attack of those muted chords, which are triggered with F sharp and G sharp when we're in guitar mode. And the palm mutes triggered from C sharp have similar controls with the decay and tone knob, and the velocity knob interacts with the decay knob based on incoming note velocities. See you for more in the next video.